Sunday morning, everybody. I hope y'all are doing well. I am doing fine. I uh, had just left uh, Christianburg, Virginia. Uh, there is a Sonico, it's called the Radford Truck Stop or whatever. Excuse me. And uh, it's where I pulled into last night. They have an amazing grill there called the Little River Grill. And they have amazing food. So if you're ever near Radford, Virginia, it's off of 81 at exit 110. They have an amazing, amazing, it's a little, it's a little Sunoco, little gas station that trucks park at because they have diesel fuel. And uh, they have an amazing grill, man. Amazing. They got mini corn dogs. So I had some mini corn dogs. I've been eating like crap this week, man. I, I, I'm really feeling it. Uh, I still have not stopped by Walmart. We are doing that today. We are doing that today. Today. I just had to get out of the north, man, because Virginia is really expensive. And uh, obviously so is New York and New Jersey. And the reason why I didn't stop before I got up there is because I couldn't, man. I just, I, there was just, you know, that accident that happened, I got stuck in and all that bullshit I had on my way up to New York. It just, uh, just didn't happen man so I've been eating fast food and, and, and shit bag food which sucks for a lot of reasons one that food sucks uh, I didn't enjoy eating any of it you know what I mean like I just ate it because I needed to eat something two it is fucking mega expensive I can usually buy $60 worth of food and it lasts me all week and I'm eating like a king you know what I'm saying I'm eating good uh, you know, my ham and my sausage, egg, cheese, uh, breakfasts that I, that I fry up in the pan and shit. And, uh, you know, my, my Atkins meals and my and my uh, food heaters that I heat up in my pan. And yeah, man, that's how I get down, man. So, so yeah, once we get to like Tennessee or something, uh, I will stop off at Walmart. I will make that happen, and uh, and it'll be all good, man. It'll be all good. Hold, on, I gotta do something, y'all. I gotta. If I plug my little cords and cables in, like my aux cord, it kind of braces up against stuff. My bad. And uh, that way, it kind of holds y'all a little bit more steady. There we go. My bad. So. Uh, well, I'll be doing that today. I'm excited. I'm going to just go ahead and buy a hot plate instead of the propane thing uh, for two reasons. One, I already have one, and I think it just needs to be cleaned out because the everything is there, and it's not getting the flames out, obviously, through the burner part. I didn't want to buy another one, so I might as well just buy a hot plate, man. A little plug-in deal call it good so well, we have rum strip but uh it is a beautiful day today man it's 80 degrees out here I uh I'll be crossing in North Carolina here in a little bit I'll be uh I'm in Max Meadows right now so and it's just it is beautiful man I'm about to show you all this I mean look at all that man look at all that pretty green that is just it is just beautiful, man. I mean, that has been that has been my scenery today, man, and that's what I got going on. And it's just, it is amazing. It's cool. So, anyways, uh, I don't have a word of the day yet, and I don't have a quote, man. I woke up, just I slept a while today too. Uh, just been really tired. I don't know why. I just I'm just wore out. I guess, man. And it's usually like this after you know you've been at home for a week, man. That first week adjusting back into trucking is really hard, and uh, especially since I, you know, came back into some bullshit. Usually the first week coming back, it's not too bad. I'm just not really wanting to do it because I've been at home. But this just this whole run has been crazy. So. 
so yeah, I mean, I got an ass load of miles, so I'm happy. Sorry, the thing rattles. So, um, I had an ass load of miles this week, man, so I'm getting a nice check. Um, so I can't complain too hard, man, but I did earn every penny of that shit. Every, every cent per mile. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is what it is till it ain't what it ain't, so. But, right on, right on, man. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hit y'all up a little later, man. I'll have a word for the day. I'll have a quote for the day. We'll have a subject I'll talk about. Think about something, man. I don't know. Usually it has something to do with love, companionship, something like that. I don't know. Fixing yourself. We'll figure something out. I always do. But, uh, right on, right on. Y'all be good, man. I'm going to travel through this here mountainside. I'm in, I'm heading towards Fancy Gap, which the truckers know all know about Fancy Gap. There's three major ones that the truckers talk about. Fancy Gap, Donner, and Cabbage Patch. Donner's in California, and Donner and uh, Cabbage Patch is out there in, like, Oregon or some shit. And it's just a steep old grade that you have to travel down for a long-ass fucking time. So, uh... So, yeah, we'll be going down good old Fancy Gap, man. I gotta be careful. And, uh... Not smoke my brakes, and not try to fall off the side of the mountain. Yay, let's try not to do that. So, love, peace, and grease, man. I'll be back. <laughs> man, all right, man. So I, I have to share this with y'all. I'm in Union Grove, North Carolina, and I just saw someone getting roadhead. <laughs> I'm minding my own business driving, and, you know, I check the cars as they pass me, man, to make sure, you know, I see them in my rear well, I happen to be looking over, boy, and when they were passing me up, man, I'd seen an old girl land across the street, boy, and I seen her head bobbing, and dude had his hand on her back, dude. Her stroke game was pretty good, man. I was trying to catch up to him. I wanted to get it on camera, but my truck only does 70, and dude is doing probably like 75, 80, boy. He was banging through the lanes and shit, man. He was... <laughs> Oh, man, I've never seen any of that before. That was the first time for me. I'm not saying that I, it probably hasn't happened passing me, but that's the first time I actually caught that shit, man. I, damn, I wish I would have had the camera on, man. I, I wish my truck was ungoverned or something. I would have caught up to him. I would have gave him the old, and then got that shit on camera. <laughs> oh, that shit's good, man. I'm telling you, you can't buy that kind of entertainment, man. You can't buy that shit. So, fuck, man. That's too funny, man. I, man, I wish I would have got that shit on camera for y'all, man. That would have been fucking gold. Oh, man. That would have been viral video right there, and I would have not seen a dime for it. Because, like I said, I'm not set up for monetary on this shit. So, ah, fuck. That was funny, though, man. Good shit. That really made my day, man. That shit was funny. <laughs> so... That dude got his uh, got his game down. That's for sure. Right on, right on. Hope y'all are doing good, man. I'll uh, <coughs> when I stop, man, and I'll get a word for the day and a quote. And shit, man. I'll think of something to talk about. But... Right on, right on. Deuces. Good evening, everybody. How are y'all? Um. It is 6 o'clock. I am in South Carolina. I just got done with my hour lunch break or hour break or whatever you want to call it. And now we are continuing on to Troy, Alabama. I will be stopping by Walmart here in a couple hours, man, to replenish the truck. Man, I'm down to one case of water, which I like to always have two. The one that I'm drinking from and the one that's on reserve because... I travel through the South a lot, man. It's hot as fuck down here, man. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't live in the South. Y'all don't know. All right? Y'all think 85 is hot? 85 ain't shit. All right? The South gets up to 105, 110. Humidity. Sweating your ass off. You're thirsty. All right? And I'm in this truck, man. So anything can happen, man. This truck can take a shit. It'd be 110 out in this son bitch. Truck take a shit. I ain't got no water. Now I'm dying. I don't want to die. Do y'all want me to die? I don't think so. So, no. We want to live, right? So, you know, I got to stop by Walmart. And speaking of y'all, I want to thank all y'all for watching and liking and all. I have 17 subscribers now, and I am excited. I went and looked today, 
and I'm like, oh man, I got 17 subscribers. Like I had like 14 uh, not too long ago. So I picked up like three more subscribers. So that's cool, man. I, I'm a, uh, hold on, I gotta adjust this camera so that it's not as all, man, I don't know what's going on lately, man. I don't, okay, there we go. So that, uh, man, I'm excited, man. I like to take this moment to appreciate all 17 of y'all. And, uh, you know, uh, out of the 17 y'all, I get like 14 to 15 views, man. So that's cool, man. That's a good retention rate, man. I got, you know, I have 17 subscribers, man. I get 15, you know, 14 to 15 views. So that's cool, man. I'm excited, man. That's cool. That means that uh, you know, y'all are watching me, and that's great, man. I'm excited. Uh, that makes me feel good. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, like I said, I got the word of the day. I got the quote of the day. Um, it's been a pretty laid back day, man. No traffic, no problems. Casual, lazy Sunday, man. I blessed. I'm happy to stop by Walmart, man, so I can get back on the track that I was on. Because like I said, I've ate nothing but shit food this whole week, man. This whole week, man. It's been fast food, burgers, and fries. And today, today, today I ended up having Arby's. And I got the chicken cordon bleu, which is fried, but whatever. Well, I was eating my fries, man, and I just didn't want them anymore, man. I was just, I just didn't want them. I had, you know, they ended up giving me a large because I wanted a large drink. And I told them not to give me the large fries, even though I'm paying for a large combo anyways. But I only wanted to beat them, but they gave me the large anyhow because they were busy. So, whatever. I paid for the shit anyhow. I only ate a kid's meal size or a small or what have you because I just didn't want the shit no more, man. I didn't want it. I ate the Cordon Bleu. The Cordon Bleu was decent. I've always liked Cordon Bleus. You know, the chicken, the ham, and the cheese. Even like the ones you can buy from the store that's like the little, I like remember the little chicken Kievs and the chicken cordon blues and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, man, I like their cordon blues, man. It's all right. I, you know, I, I'll, I'll make them at home, um, you know, when I get the chance to cook. You know, I'll cook that shit at home. Just like uh, uh, I really like the McMuffins, the egg, sausage, egg, cheese McMuffins. But you can make that shit at home too, man. All you gotta do is get the egg ring. A little egg ring. You break that egg in that son of a bitch, man, with a little bit of milk to make it a little thick. Let that shit cook. Flip that son of a bitch over. Get your sausage ready, man. Throw some double deep. Throw, 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 throw some cheese on that bitch. I'm all stuttering. <laughs> uh, yeah, you throw some cheese on them shits, man, and call it good. You know, you get your little English muffin. They got wheat English muffins. Now, on keto, you can't do that shit. But the sausage, the egg, and the cheese is good. So there's keto right there. Oh. Uh, yeah, so I mean, you know, you can do all that shit at home, man, if you like to cook. Some people are busy, don't like to cook, man. They like all the fast meals and shit or whatever, man. And uh, Rich Piana got that 5% line. He got all that food he sells out and shit. And that shit's cool, man, but I like to cook, man. So I'd rather cook my food, man. I mean, them little meals are cool, though, if, like, you take them to work and shit. You know, you do that for your lunch. So I'm not totally against the low-carb meals or Rich Piana's 5% meals. I will have some of them because what's really going to kick off is um, when I get to Illinois and I start keto and shit, I'm going to be following Rich Piana's workouts and his products and shit. You know, right now, he's super hot right now, man. Everybody's on everybody's on Rich Piana's shit, man. Everybody, everybody, everybody. That's all you hear about is Rich Piana, Rich Piana. So, you know, he's claiming that his shit works, man, and I'm seeing massive results from his shit. Uh, he does keto all the time. So... Man, why not? Why not try it, man? Put his shit to the test, man. Dude is super real. He's open about his steroid use, which he's on legal now. He's a hundred percent legal, man. He's on Vicarin for the IGF one. Um, he's on Arimidex, which is prescribed to him. He's on Anabars, which is prescribed to him. So he's on legal shit, man. So, which you know, I'll probably do the same thing eventually, man. I'll get on IGF one, and I'll when I start. If I can get over the hump, man, lose the weight I don't want to weight, man, I really get, you know, super deep into bodybuilding and shit like that and taking control of my life. See all this right here? I hate looking at this. I hate this shit. You see these sausage links? Look at that thing. Those are Jimmy Dean's right there, buddy. You can fucking roll those in a pan and get on it. Like, it's gross to me. I look gross. And then all I caught myself doing is seeing other truck drivers, and we all look the same. 
you got your little skinny fuckers running around, man. I don't know how they do it, but whatever. Um, but for the most part, we all look the same, man. Belly's hanging out the bottom of the shirt, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just gross, man. And it pisses me off that I allowed myself to get like this, man. I was down to 225, man. I was in the gym. Life was good. And then I let stupid excuses and bullshit and depression control my body. And I, I let myself go, man. And, and then now it's time to get out of this fucking shit and do something about it, man. And that correlates to everything I'm about to tell y'all right here, right meow. Okay, so first things first, I had to do was forgive myself. And today's word of the day is forgiveness. The action or process of forgiving or being forgiven, okay? You know, if you're Christian or atheist or science or whatever, you know, you ask that person for forgiveness. And that's fine and dandy. But you also have to forgive yourself. You also has to have to ask yourself for forgiveness. And I've done that. I forgive myself for what I've done. I can't blame nobody else for what I've done to my body other than my own goddamn self. So, with that being said, you got to forgive yourself, man. I mean, what's done is done. I've done some horrible shit in my life to some really good people, man. I've really fucked over some people in my day. I've always been a good person, man. But, you know, we all make choices we feel is right man and sometimes my choices weren't always the best man and people got hurt in that shit well i've forgiven myself for that was a lot of shit i carried around for a very long time so i forgave myself i forgive myself i look at myself in the mirror with my clothes off and i see how disgusting i look and i forgive myself and i allowed my anger at myself to help me Achieve the goals that I want to do. Even though I've been eating like an asshole all week, man. But that shit, whatever. We end that shit today. We get back on track today. So, I mean, like I said, I'll be hitting up a, a, a Walmart here in two hours, man. We'll get back on track, man. We'll start doing this shit again, man. Simple as that. You just got to have the determination, the willpower, and the drive to do it, man. So, I forgive myself for what I did to myself. I cannot beat myself up anymore for looking like a tub of butter with legs. Uh, that's just how it is, man. I cannot no longer... I can't say, you know, because of this situation and that situation. I'm the situation. I was the problem. And I accept that. So we move on. The quote for the day is, He who conquers others is strong. He who conquers himself is mighty. Flex Wheeler said that shit, man. And that is so true. You are your own worst enemy. You can only lie to yourself about yourself to yourself when you are alone. You are your own true person by yourself. You know who you are when you close that door, when you are in that room alone. You only know who you are. So you need to learn to conquer yourself, man. You need to be strong enough to stand up to your own self and say, fuck no, I ain't going to do that shit no more, man. Just like when I quit smoking and just like when I stopped doing uh, stupid shit, I said, I ain't going to do this shit no more. And that's that. So you can front off to the world, man, and put up all these positive posts on motherfucking Facebook and Instagram and shit like that. You can go off and front off to motherfuckers like you're, you know, doing fine. And you're trying to live a good life. And when you close that door at night and you're not, only you know that shit, man. Only you know that shit. And when you learn to stop doing that shit is when everything will fall into place. And you can grow from there. So you need to forgive and you need to conquer yourself, man. And that's where I'm at right now with myself, man. I've forgiven myself a long time ago. And now I'm trying to conquer myself, man. I'm trying to not eat all this shitty ass food that I've been eating, man. And all, all this whole week has done is made me feel like shit. I've noticed that my whole everything has changed, man. I'm tired. Uh, I've been sleeping longer. 12 out the 12 hours, man. I think I could chalk that up to the fact that I only slept for like three hours in one day and ended up staying up for 13 hours for work. You know what I'm saying? So it, that, that kind of, but today I slept for 10 hours and there was no reason for it. I slept great last night but I slept for too long. I should be only sleeping for seven to eight hours, man. So I think it just has to do with poor diet, man. And all that shitty ass food sitting inside your stomach just makes you feel like crap all the time. And I'm tired of doing it, man. And then like I said, I was sitting around, I was eating this food. I think part of it was, man, I happened to look over at this guy. I was eating these fries, man. I done ate my sandwich already. I was working through the fries a little bit. And I looked over and I seen this dude and he was just, you know what I mean? And I just, and I seen him like struggling to breathe while he was eating like this massive plate of of Arby's. And I'm just thinking, man, god damn. 
damn, man, that is crazy. Uh, it's just like, um, my mom's really hooked on my 600 pound life. And I, I just, I, I can't watch those shows, man. I cannot do it. I can't do it, man. My mom's like, you need to watch this show. No, I can't do it. I can watch people get sawed in half. I can watch zombies getting their heads blown off and guts and shit flying everywhere while I'm eating a bloody piece of steak. I cannot watch my 600 pound life, dude. I can't. Um, the one dude, his name was James K, I think it was. Hold on, I gotta read this. Okay, bypass way station. This passed up a way station, man. You gotta, sometimes they don't have a beeper that goes off inside my truck to let me know to stop or if I'm cool to go. So you gotta read the signs and say truck must enter way station or truck may bypass way station. So, and I tell you what, man, if it tells your ass to pull in, you do everything in your power to pull in and make sure you pull in because they will shit on you for it. They, man, DOT will ruin your day, dude. Pissing your Cheerios is nothing compared to blowing past a way station, man. So don't, yeah, don't let that happen. But, um, so anyways, man, like, his family was enablers, man. They were like, oh, we don't like his weight. This dude was like 800 pounds. Dude ate two big-ass ribeyes with two big-ass portions of mashed potatoes smothered in fucking gravy and two big-ass helpings of corn, man. I mean, holy, and his wife fed it to him. And him and her and her daughter were like, well, we do that because um, if we don't, he gets mad at us. Dude's bedridden, so let him be mad. He gonna be mad. He can't even get out of bed on his own, so it's not like he's gonna get up and whoop your ass. I mean, if dude was like, yo, make me a steak, and then you eat the steak, and he's like, give me another steak, and you're like, no, and he kicks the shit out of you, sure, get him another steak and fucking potatoes. Dude ain't getting out of bed to whoop your ass, so what's the problem? Let him be mad. He'll get over it. So they were just enablers, man. I couldn't watch that shit no more, man. My mom, did you watch it? Did you watch Yeah, I, I made it all the way up to the steak scene, mom. I couldn't do it anymore. And then, you know, they all go to this doctor in Houston. This dude is world-renowned. People come up for, uh, across the world to have um, a gastric bypass or the lap band or whatever done to him. But he tells me, he says, look, you got to lose X amount of weight in this time for me to do this or we can't do it. And then people don't do it. And then they get mad at him for it. Like, no. You gotta conquer yourself. You gotta control yourself. Um, the one thing I can say about me eating fast food and shit this week is that I cut the portions down. Usually, man, it was two double cheeseburgers, large fry, 10-piece chicken nugget, and a large-ass drink. Now it's like one cheeseburger, small or medium fry I still like my large drink because I drink unsweet tea now so it doesn't really matter I can pound that shit left and right even though you got a bunch of people say oh tea's bad for you bit, 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 bit. well so is fucking sweet tea so at least I cut that demon in half so I mean yeah man so conquer yourself forgive yourself and do what you gotta do to succeed you know who you are when you close your eyes at night you know the kind of person you are in your heart. My buddy once said, man, he's like, uh, you know, trust your trust your brain, not your heart. I don't agree with that at all. The mind can be altered. The mind can be tricked. You can be brainwashed into thinking other things. But in your heart, your heart is true. So I never did believe in that 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 sentence that he said or something about trust trust your brain, not your heart. I, that that is completely wrong wrong, wrong, wrong. And I told him that too. I was like, man, you know, brain can be altered. You can be lied to. You can be deceived. But your heart will always tell you true, man. You can always lead by your heart. So, so you know who you are at night, man. You know what you're capable of doing. And you know what you're doing is wrong with you if you, if you, if you claim you don't or not. You know what's wrong, right? And you know. So, so yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're going to finish out, man. We're going to go hit up this Walmart so I can get my... I'm just going to buy regular eggs this time. I've been doing egg whites and shit, but I guess I might as well just go back to regular eggs and sausage and shit like that. I've been doing egg whites and that, but, you know, for keto, you can do eggs. Um, and this way, man, I got a pot. 
I got a pot that I can boil water. If I get that hot plate, I can boil water and make hard boiled eggs for myself. And, uh, you know, keep those in my coo 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 cooler. And, uh, you know, snack on them hoes through the day. Or that's a meal. That could be breakfast one day. Or that could be a snack. I can eat like four of them for a snack and then eat my lunch and then eat four of them later. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think we're just going to roll with some regular old eggs as opposed to egg whites. And if I want egg whites, man, I just crack the son bitch and take the yolk out of it. I mean, too easy, right? Right. So I think we're going to roll that route, man. I'm going to get my milk, um, get my unsweet teas. I, I drink the pure leaf. I like that. Um, when I stop being an over-the-road truck driver, I'll start making unsweet sun tea. That shit's too easy, man. You get some Louisiana or some shit like that or whatever... Whatever good tea is out there, man, stick that shit out in the sun for a while. Let that sun cook them shits. And then you stick it in the old refrigerator and fucking call it good. And I'll be slamming unsweet wee. Un unsweet wee. <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. I can't speak today, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm too pumped up. I don't know. Hold on. Let me hit some coffee real quick. That's good stuff. Good stuff, man. Anyways. So, conquer yourself, forgive yourself, and grow. It's springtime, man. It's time to grow, man. It's a new year. New things are happening. Uh, grow. Grow like the trees and life around you, man. And like I said, there is no ceiling to success. ceiling to success I love you guys y'all be good out there do good things have a happy Sunday hopefully y'all did something family style today baseball's in full effect there's a lot of good teams going on I was watching last night the Yankees were talking about um, what's his name judge or whatever dudes like all-around dope-ass player I watched some dude smash a 468 foot home run last night oh man baseball's in full effect man it's good shit um, we'll see how the Cubs, Sox, and Rangers do. Um, those are three teams that I've been watching. Um, not that I'm a Cubs fan. Actually, I hated the Cubs for a long time, man. But I moved away, man, and, you know, got my Rangers back. And my Rangers are kind of sucking ass. Darvish threw a great game last night, so that's cool. His surgery's not affecting him. He is definitely our ace. Um... I'm happy for the Cubs, man. I, I was rooting for them last season, man, through the playoffs because I always felt that it was good for the city, man. It was good for the city, man. 108 years is a long time to not win a fucking pennant. So, I mean, I, I, I've known people who have been waiting their whole lives. Whole lives. Like, I was talking to Brendan Fox. He's like, dude, I've waited my whole life for this. Um, you know, guys like Ed, CJ, uh, Joe Selecki. Joe used to go to Arizona every year to spring training. Dude, that's how much of a diehard Cubs fan he was, man. Like, crazy shit. So, I mean, like, I, you know, people have waited their whole lives. People have gone their whole lives and died. And the Cubs still didn't win, man. So, I mean, that was big. That was big deal, man. That was big shit. And I was really happy for the Cubs and how they did it, man. And we'll see how they do this year, man. The Sox are looking good this year. The Rangers, they got to do something, man. It, it, it's still early. It's still early, man, by... We'll know by next month, man, what's really going on, dude. And then when we hit all-star break and shit like that, that's when that's when you really know what's what's really hood, homie. But uh, 162 games a year, it always comes down to a game or two. You know, that's how intricate baseball is. But you know, pretty soon football season will be started. I am a Trubisky fan now. Just on the simple fact that they dicked that dude at the Bulls game the other night and they were booing him and then they found out he was there and then they started cheering. So I'm a Trubisky fan now. I hope that dude goes out and fucking snaps. I hope that dude throws for 200 yards a game, boy, I swear. 300 yards a game. Fuck it, just go for the gusto, man. Just, just. I hope that dude gets out there and just mercs everybody on the field, man. I'm talking about shaking people off like Brett Favre did laser beaming. I'm talking about everything. I hope that dude just goes out there, dude, and just hangs the swans out, dude, and tells everyone to kiss it. Like that dude earlier, that guy Roadhead. <laughs> I hope he does, man. I hope he does. So, we'll see what's really good, but go Bears!
Go Bears. Go Bears. Good night. I love you guys. Be good. Be safe, man.